President, my question is for Minister Pulford in her capacity as Minister for Small Business. Minister, today's ABS figures show Victoria suffered the biggest fall in employment in all Australian jurisdictions during September. Many of these, Minister, in small businesses for which you are responsible and who are not surviving the extended lockdown. Do you accept at least some responsibility for the damage and devastation in the small business sector that these job losses point directly to? Thank Mr Davis um, for his question, which perhaps relates a bit more to my um, employment portfolio than my small business portfolio, but obviously they are intimately linked and related and the, um, as the single biggest source of employment in the Victorian economy, the two can't be uh, decoupled. Um, the, the pandemic and the restrictions that have been required to keep the Victorian community safe uh, as the health system uh, has been prepared and vaccine rollout has occurred have had a profound impact on small businesses and some sectors obviously much more so than others. There are small businesses that have started during this period. There are others that have grown during this period. But of course, our focus and efforts have been on assisting as many as possible uh, to come through the other side in a position where they can again be trading successfully. So our government has uh, provided um, a direct business support uh, now uh, well in excess of 10 billion dollars. Um, there are also, of course, a number of other programs that I'm sure every member in this place is well acquainted with by now. There are also um, been significant investments to support Victorians who have lost work through this period, um, $500 million for working for Victoria, um, and then $619 million for the new Jobs Victoria program. Um, so as, as for uh, the role that I have played uh, in um, this now 15 months since I took on both of these roles, um, I've worked quite closely with our business community uh, and indeed through our department uh, with um, the public health team to make sure that every opportunity for our businesses to trade has been uh, taken, that their case for um, safe trading arrangements um, have been uh, presented uh, and advocated and we have had lots of different examples where um, those things have been able to be successfully achieved in a way that is within uh, the tolerance of public health risk of the public health team. So for instance um, members will recall periods where people who, have, who do outdoor work alone have been able to uh, perform those uh, tasks uh, where um, work, uh, re resumption of work arrangements and restart, uh, financial support for restart, but also other support for restart um, has been a feature um, of really every day uh, of the 15 months that I have been uh, involved in the pandemic. I was very proud to have um, reintroduced and, been the, and, and made for uh, Victoria to be the first Australian jurisdiction to reintroduce the Commercial Tenancy Relief Scheme as we've confronted the Delta variant and now I must say uh, it is um, it, it, it is heartening and it is really um, it, it is a, a really positive turn uh, to see our small businesses now preparing to reopen over the next couple Thank of weeks Minister. and Fine. hiring again. Fine. Mr Davis on a supplementary. Well, well President um, there doesn't seem to be any sense of responsibility there uh, and with a well, with 3.5% down, 123,000 people less employed, um, just very concerning. So, Minister, in New South Wales has given their small businesses security and a clear roadmap out. And, Minister, despite the harsh, indeed vicious lockdown in Victoria, case numbers are yet again at a record number in Victoria. So, I, I mean, I simply ask... Order. Thank you. President Thank you, Mr Davis, to continue. So case numbers are yet again at a record high, an Australian high. And I ask, therefore, when will small business know what on earth your government is doing and when they will reopen? Minister Paul. I genuinely cannot believe that Mr Davis used to be a health minister. Oh. Like that's ex that's extraordinary, really. Um, if if Mr Davis had taken two seconds to even 
give a cursory glance to the burnout modelling that underpins the roadmap to reopening, he would know that today's case numbers are absolutely within the predicted range, right? So there's a task, I think, for all of us. It's, it's, it's that they're not nice numbers today, and particularly for people on the front line of our health system. And it is very regrettable that we caught this back from New South Wales, having had, um, having had successfully eliminated the Delta variant earlier in the year. Um, but what I would say, and indeed do every day to our small business community, um, is that uh, the roadmap uh, is there. It indicates when and how they can trade. And they know, because unlike the opposition, they exist in like a, a real world scenario. Um, what they know is that the dates are the 26th of October you, and the 5th of November. Fine. Thank you. Mr. I move that the Minister's answer be taken into account on the next day meeting. Question is the motion moved by Mr. Davis be agreed to. Those opinions say aye. Aye. Contrary, no. I believe the ayes have it.